Hi, my name is Joanna Kalel. I'm a sophomore at Lincoln High. You know! And this is my poem called Colored History. All the bills are three months late. A burnt out light bulb mistaken for the last light I'll see in a while. Heat ebbing slowly out of my home, leaving trails like roots. I'm shivering. It's not because frost colors my skin, but rage fills my heart. I was never told it was going to be like this. Lack of money and more melanin in my skin wasn't supposed to dictate my happiness. Keep it captive like a seed without sunlight, like a bird without wings. Lines of the city mission weren't supposed to get longer. The weariness in my mom's face wasn't supposed to be permanent. The death of an entire culture was never meant to happen. Natives weren't supposed to be pushed off into foreign lands and bedless rooms with the same holes in the ceiling that marked my childhood. In those times, the sweet caress of lullabies never put me to bed, and the tender touch of fairy tales never tucked me in, but I was told stories of a far-off land whose towering pyramids have long since crumbled, Mayan cities encasing millennium's worth of culture ransacked, the royal family of Tecun decimated, and rubble lies where an empire thrived. Genocide is now commercialized. The story's a repeat, the same one as last night, yet I still feel my dad's sorrow digging deep into my bones. No one else will hear this story. Just a twisted version, mass printed onto textbooks, blurring the lines between propaganda and truth, weaving a tale about the glory white invaders sitting on thrones but for brown skin nobility. Hollow cheeks and empty stomachs don't matter to any except those who live through it. The forgotten corpses lying under these spiraling towers are proof of that. The same skyscrapers in Guatemala can also be found here. In this country whose borders so many of us have crossed, it runs off the sweat of my family, leaving our fingers scarred, hearts scarred, yearning for a homeland we've been forsaken from. Money slips through our fingers like the soil of the seeds we've planted. Eventually, the plants will blossom and reach heights unimaginable. And we're trying so desperately to grow with them. Broken heaters and freezing temperatures aren't enough to ice over the remnant fire still glowing within. Decades of being turned down at every border, forcibly manhandled to the model mold of a citizen, has not broken our spirit yet. Because we're a diaspora of people, frantically trying to tend the wound of our torn off wings, while pale faces taunt us as we relearn how to fly. Everyone tells us that we don't belong here. But white foreigners still fleeced off the bloody dirt of my people.